In late 2011, Greenlight Energy Solutions tested the pilot waste conversion pyrolysis system at the site of its production partner in the Moscow region, followed by the environmental analysis conducted by SGS. This system has become the world's first and only processing facility based on high temperature pyrolysis. It is ready for commercial operation for processing mixed municipal waste as well as many other waste materials. On November 8, 2011, the facility was presented in operation to potential customers and the media. This innovative equipment is certified and implemented into commercial production. The Waste Conversion Pyrolysis Facility, equipped for processing raw municipal waste, will be composed of the following main elements. A sorting line, a shredder, a dryer, a storage bin, a reactor, a main burner, an oxidizer, an off-gas cleaning system, and an energy block. Municipal waste initially passes through a sorting line to pull out metals by means of magnetic and ballistic separators and to filter out inerts, glass, and concrete materials that are not suitable for pyrolysis. The remaining waste is chipped in the shredder and passed to the dryer. In the dryer, the moisture content from the waste material is reduced to 20%. The properly prepared waste is then collected in a storage bin. A transporting conveyor moves the waste materials from the storage bin to the reactor feeding unit, where it passes through a hatch. The hatch takes in waste material while keeping air out of the processing chamber. The waste is carried through the reactor feeding unit by a motor-driven screw conveyor. The pyrolysis process takes place in a specifically designed pyrolic chamber, our patented retort. The retort is heated indirectly by burners located on both sides of the retort's external case, a heat chamber, which assures uniform heating of the material and flexibility in process control. The waste is heated to 705 degrees Celsius upon contact with retort walls and is thereby reduced to syngas and a solid carbon char. The retort is made of cast iron alloy with chrome and aluminum. A special formula has been developed to give the pyrolysis chamber its unique wear-proof and heat-proof properties. The controlled temperature in the retort eliminates any dioxins in the carbon char and allows for further use of this byproduct. Dioxins and furans are therefore formed in the gas fraction only. The waste is moved along the retort by air-cooled screw conveyors. The specific design of the conveyors allows for effective thermal transmission from the retort walls to the waste material and its additional mixing while preventing adhesion of the waste. Testing has revealed the clarity of both retort walls and blades of the screw conveyors, confirming effectiveness of the high temperature pyrolysis of the municipal waste. The outside pit in front of the reactor hosts a driving gear, which has been specifically designed to synchronize the motion of the screw conveyors in the reactor. The driving gear consists of two gear motors and a mechanical reduction unit. The carbon char produced is collected at the bottom of the reactor and discharged through a hatch into a special storage bin. Syngas is mixed with air in the main burner and directed to the oxidizer for combustion and further degradation. In the thermal oxidizer, syngas is burned for 2.5 seconds at 1200 degrees Celsius. This allows for complete molecular decomposition of the dioxins and furans contained in the syngas while transforming it into carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and water vapor. Burners and thermocouples are installed at the oxidizer's case to monitor and maintain these specific conditions required for destroying the dioxins. The pyrolysis process is fully automated, thus being safe and easy to control. The heat of the oxidized gases, together with the retort flue gases, generates steam in a waste heat boiler. A part of the oxidized gases is used for maintaining the temperature of the pyrolic chamber. The heat energy of the steam generated in the heat exchanger can be transformed into electric energy using a steam turbine. 
Each waste conversion pyrolysis processing line generates from five to over seven megawatts of electric energy per hour, depending on the feedstock composition. The system's off-gases are filtered in a multi-stage depuration system for environmentally safe release into the environment. The production capacity of the waste conversion pyrolysis system is approximately 300 tons of unsorted raw municipal waste per day, with average moisture content of 60%.